guys, we'll be doing some grade solving right here. I'm not really concerned with the pith. I'm just trying to get the most out of this timber that I can. So the width going this way is about nine and three quarters. It's actually pretty square, actually. Nine and three quarters both way. I didn't even mean to do that. That's pretty good. So what we're gonna do is, I want a six inch cant from this so I can cut one by sixes for the siding on the kiln. That's what's already on there and I wanna match that up. So I'm gonna come up six inches from the bed and the AccuSet will tell us when we're six inches up. Use the auto up feature and do one inch boards until it comes up here where I get a reference cut. Now I could just start up here at the top and work my way down, but you're not gonna fall right on six inches. So I'll have to do that auto up feature. That way I know when I get to right here, it's gonna be another board. And the first cut might be a little bit of waste. I'll probably skim off like a veneer up here. It's usually like an eighth of an inch or a sixteenth and sometimes a quarter. But that's necessary to get your cutting set so you know you'll get good one inch boards right here and end up with a six inch can on the bottom. If you don't do that, you may end up somewhere here and you're maybe six and a half inches off the bottom. And you still gotta cut off half an inch to get your six inch uh, wide board. So we'll do that, we'll get about, gosh, maybe, maybe three or four one inch boards off the top. They will be one by, like I said, nine and a half or nine and three quarters. Good boards, we'll turn this thing up and sit it on one inch and come down through here and get our one by sixes. So not a lot of waste right there and two of those slabs we took off, I'll probably resaw those later. Might get a board or two out of them. Had a lot of taper in that far end down there. I'm not really concerned with the pith today. We're sawing for grade and it's gonna be barn siding, so I'm not really concerned with it. Of course, I'll try to eliminate it if I can. If I don't, I'm not worried about that. So we'll get this thing squared up and get these boards done. It should knock this thing out pretty fast. The thing's growing pretty good here today, guys. Get this one done and get that walnut loaded up and see how it looks. All right, so we're back here at the operator's side. We're gonna lower the head down to about six inches. That's gonna be the width of our final boards that we cut. Something pretty neat about this AccuSet, it's hard to stop on the mark you're trying to get to, so you can get pretty close and hit this arrow. And then go right down for you and find it. So right there's where we wanna stop at when we're sawing these boards. That's our six inch cant. So we'll do the auto up. Come down here to one inch. We're doing about one inch boards today. I went way too far and passed it up. Do the auto up is already engaged right there. We'll go up here a few clicks. Now I'll push that saw head forward and see where the blade's falling at. So it's right there. We'll probably get one more board out of that. Let's auto up one more time. Actually, we will not. That's gonna go above it just a little. And that's what you come up with. We'll have a sacrificial board there on the very top that we'll have to cut off and be our reference face to work off of. And then we'll start cutting one inch boards from there down. And we'll keep that board. That'll be about a half inch board. Might find some use for it around here. It won't be total waste. So we'll bring that saw head back. Now we'll go into auto down one inch. Bring it back forward. So when we make our first cut, we're gonna have about a half inch board right there. And then we'll keep going down and we'll stop at six inches.